Welcome back. It's a recipe that combines the best flavors of the holidays. Linda Hunt from the Sweet Delicious Bakery Cafe in DeWitt and Grand Rapids Downtown Market is here to show us how to make a chocolate peppermint pie. Just reading the recipe for this already started to make my mouth water. There's nothing better to me than chocolate and peppermint at the holidays. Me, me either. Oh, the I peppermint bark. Yes, I make it yeah. with vanilla or the, and the regular like the milk chocolate version yeah, too. Yeah, 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 and so the dark chocolate. So good. Yes, yeah, so good. Yes. So one of the deals is with this pie and with any pie. Do you do, do graham cracker crust? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I make cheesecakes. So yeah. So this is the chocolate graham cracker crust. I don't know. Can you see that, love? Or not really. Okay. Yeah, there yeah. we go. Look at how cute that is. Um, so what the problem is, is and when, when I was doing my cookbook, it's like lots of times you do a grocery crust, and then when you get it out, it like falls apart. Yes, yes. Yeah. What does that mean? What are we doing wrong? Well, there could be all sorts of stuff. Like too much butter, not enough butter, too much graham cracker, you know, not cooking it long enough. Okay. So this graham cracker crust, it like, seems like the simplest thing, was one of my most daunting things for the cookbook. Okay. Really okay. was. So um, I'm going to have you start. We have regular graham cracker crust, excuse me, graham cracker crumbs, sugar and salt, and melted butter. Okay. I'm going to have you throw that all in there, the okay. first to dry, and then um, stir that up first. So what and then is, we'll add the butter. What is the key to making, is it the, follow the recipe exactly when it comes to the measurements yes. for the crust? Yes. Or yes. the way that you mix it, or all of it? All of it. All of it, all of it. Okay. All of it. So when you're, I'm going to throw the butter in here. Okay. Um, and all of the different recipes, when I was researching from way back, the cute old-fashioned vintage ones, okay, that's looking good. Keep stirring. Okay. Um, that they're all a little bit different. And the amount of time, the temperature, and all of it's in the cookbook, and it'll be on your website too. Okay. Um, and then we're ready to mix that in. We have a lot of time today, don't we? We do we? have all kinds Stop of time it. today. We're going to make 27 pies. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put that in. This is slightly buttered. Okay. Okay. And the secret is kind of like a really, do you see how pretty these are? Gosh, I keep writing. They are beautiful. <laughs> like you've brought they them are. up over the pot. Yes, really. yes. Yeah. And they're nice and thick. Um, and we're going to show you how to do that. So okay. I'm going to kind of start this off. Okay. So measuring cup. Okay. Really handy dandy, not only for measuring things, but to get this so going. squishing it in there. Squishing it in and then um, making a nice, you know, just like our other pies, we have that nice high. Oh, yes. Deep, so you have a nice, because I love graham cracker crumb. Do you just like I love? do. I do, because I, I love eating cheesecakes. I know, because it's, you eat it's my crumb your, top. I eat your crumb <laughs> top and buy the bag full, literally, yes, well before the segment. Okay, so this and this is also done for like a slightly bigger one, so okay. this is going to be a little bit. So that depends too. If you're going to have like a bigger um, pie, like a 10 inch, this is going to be a little thinner. So kind of just remember that. Do you want to try to do that one? Yes. Okay. Yes. So you're going to, and then you're kind of going to do your finger, like at the same time. So kind of go like this, and that pushes it in. Ah. Do you see that texture too? I kind of want people to see that. Yes. Do you see how it's not too buttery, where it's, it's like this just big thick enough where you can really pack it down. Right, and it's not too dry, where it's just like powdering out of your hand. Yes. So those are kind of really important keys. You're doing a great job, love. Thank okay. You. This pie, um, I'm going to start creaming it with our homemade whipped cream. Okay. Um, and again, the recipe is on your guys' We'll be website. on our website, yes. wzz13.com. Click on Take 5 Recipes. My award-winning cookbook. I just got a big award, but I'm not supposed to say, so I'm not going to say anything more about it. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll announce it when Super we're allowed sorry. to talk about I it. Know. Okay. Um, one thing about you know, whipped cream, I always whip this so it's almost like butter. So it stays on. We don't use any stabilizer or anything like that at the shop. So we that's are, all cream in there. So that's all cream and powdered sugar. And again, recipe in the cookbook. <sighs> But look at how pretty these are. They're like little puffs of snowballs, love. That is gorgeous. Um, now, can you do the whipped cream stuff the day before? You sure and can, but not really. <laughs> it's better how to do, like do, do it fresh. You <laughs> that was not at all completely ambiguous. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. Um, no, you can, but you have to re-whip it. So that's why it is kind of an ambiguous question. You can if it helps you, but you might as well just do it because it can separate. And if you do it nice and heavy. So we cream, you know, gazillion pies every morning. Um, and I'm going to start decorating. But this pie, we used to go to Big Boy growing up. There was like five of us kids. Oh, yeah. And we would only get... Because, you know, my parents were teachers, got a lot of money, so we would be able to get one thing or the other. We could get like a big boy sandwich or a dessert. Always chose. Always got always the pie. Always got the on dessert. There. Always it was got like the pie not on there. a decision. 
Okay. And we have about oh, honey. Thank you. We've got okay. about uh, 33 seconds left, according. I thought we so had all reducing... to <laughs> We did, but we just talked oh so much. Oh my gosh! Much. Okay, you guys, look at how pretty this is. Gosh, I'm it is very like... beautiful. They look and like little snowmen don't or they? Like little things and of snow. And you guys can make this, and then very easy. And you can find a copy of this recipe on the website wzzm13.com. Just click on the Take Five recipes. You can also find her things in Dewitt and also downtown at the Grand Rapids Market. Still time to order pies. Plenty of time to order pies. Thank you so much.